Hi guys, it looks like another spectacularly gorgeous spring day outside the window of Doomsday Trailer here in All Is Well, South Austin, Texas on Saturday morning, May 17, 2014. Another weekend of partying begins, but before I hop into it, let me do what I do every day on the planet and that's wake up and look at what's going on on the rest of the planet uh, outside my window as we crumble deeper into the end times this is not south austin texas i'm glad to report this is what it looks like over there in bosnia today as the heaviest rains in at least 120 years Perhaps the heaviest rains ever have completely demolished a wide swath of Bosnia. Here's this guy on his, you know, it makes you wonder exactly who this guy is calling uh, on his cell phone. Uh, as the water is up to his doorknobs, I guess he's calling in a boat to come rescue him come rescue me but before I dive into the mainstream media well actually I'm not going over there those lefties on alternet didn't send me an email today so before I get back to the mainstream media which is kind of a mixed bag on where we are going as a global industrial civilization let's go over there and look at what my old buddy Guy McPherson my old fear-mongering doomsday prophet Guy McPherson and good lord if you think I am a doomsday prophet uh listen to this guy all right, where do we, where do I go? And this is at the bottom of his newest essay called "Shadows and Lies." All right, we cannot sustain the unsustainable, including civilization, nor should we attempt to do so. Civilization requires tremendous violence. Industrial civilization is the most violent version yet. American exceptionalism is a myth. American military power, largely supported by willfully ignorant taxpayers, is necessary to maintain our American lifestyles, including grid-tied electricity, the modern banking system, and all that follows. Abrupt climate change is underway. Global climate change causes suffering and death of humans and other organisms. There is no escape. Net energy, law, net energy decline is underway and soon will contribute to the early death of most humans on Earth. Fossil fuels have peaked in the age of expansion, has been replaced with the age of contraction. The age of conquest has nearly reached its overdue end. Collapse of industrial civilization is underway and will be complete soon. When collapse is complete, the world's remaining nuclear power plants will melt down catastrophically, thus shortening the lives of many humans and other organisms. There is no escape. The interaction between anthropogenic climate change and the collapse of industrial civilization affects every aspect of human life in the industrialized world. There is no politically viable approach to addressing either issue, much less the interaction between them. Many centuries ago, Plato presciently wrote a line that resonates strongly with me. Quote, Those who are able to see beyond the shadows and lies of their culture will never be understood let alone believed by the masses. And there you go. Uh, 
And I must say, uh, even I am not quite ready to hop on the Guy McPherson uh, bandwagon saying that humans will be extinct by 2030. We will see, I guess. And so from there, from that comment about the state of uh, global industrial civilization, we flip over to the mainstream news to the top 100 mainstream media news stories on the planet. And this one stands out somewhere in the top 100. A woman threatened a Burger King's staff and customers over her cinnamon roll not being fresh enough. I'm sorry, her Cinnabon roll. So uh, this is the latest story in the mainstream media about the Burger King breakfast menu. There's been a whole rash of mainstream media stories recently about the different fast food chains breakfast menus. This was a woman who threatened to shoot everybody in the Burger King because her Cinnabon uh, was not fresh enough to her American consumer taste. And quoting one of the uh, fast food employees, she threatened to shoot, quote, I wasn't scared because I was like, the whole time, I was just like, this is over a cinnamon bun. They don't have their priorities together. Hmm. Was she talking about the woman threatening to shoot them? Or was she talking about the mainstream media making this story one of the top 100 stories on planet Earth as global industrial civilization and a planet collapses? This is what the mainstream media talks about. Now this next one guys, this is a nod to Alex Jones, uh, my uh, fellow Austinite and Doomsday Prophet, who has been talking about this for, for years I believe, and here it is in Life Science uh, Magazine right here on the mainstream media. Alex Jones has finally bubbled to the surface. Five strange facts about the Pentagon's anti-zombie plan. This is your tax dollars at work. Actually at work in 2011. Citizens of the United States breathe easy. The Pentagon has a plan in case of a zombie attack. Don't pack your bug out bag and put up your zombie defenses yet, however. Con Plan 888, first uncovered this week by Foreign Policy Magazine, although Alex Jones has been talking about this for years, first uncovered this week. <clears throat> uh, the plan written in 2011 was part of a training exercise and a detailed one at that. The plan summarizes responses to threats ranging from pathogenic zombies, zombies created via infection, to space zombies, to chicken zombies, which really do exist. There you go. I don't know if they have a mainstream media anti-zombie plan or not. If they don't, they, the Pentagon needs to develop zombies created by the mainstream media. Okay, let's go over there. What is going on in Thailand today? I'm just running down these stories in no particular order. We're going to go over to Thailand where we see armed men attack Thai villagers to get to controversial gold mine. 
I'm going to be talking about this story more on Monday. Hundreds of armed men descended on a village in northern Thailand and overpowered residents who were blocking the road to a gold mine said by the local villagers to have caused environmental damage. So they attacked them so that trucks could take more ore away, wearing black and white ski masks and armed with guns, knives, and clubs, up to 400 men rounded up and beat 40 people, including women. Good Lord. Uh, residents have for years contested the mining operation, uh, which they say has poisoned the creeks and waterways on which the communities rely for irrigation and food. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. From there, I just, I just love this one. Uh, this is, yesterday was Endangered Species Day. So we see this headline, in honor of that, to save endangered species, everyone has a role to play. So they go out basically just updating you on the state of endangered species. And then they look at a, at one of my, at, at people saving endangered species. Okay, it is time for all of us to step up. This is the mainstream media. And this is a good site. This is TakePart.com. This is a mainstream uh, environmental organization in the mainstream media talking about Save the Planet Corporations. This is my favorite one out of the list. Some companies are doing just that, meaning stepping up to save endangered species. I am old enough to remember when Exxon's slogan was put a tiger in your tank, complete with a tiger mascot. These days, the Exxon Mobile Foundation has joined with the Critical Ecosystem Partnership Fund and Save the Tiger Fund to advance tiger conservation programs across Asia. There you go. Exxon Mobil is stepping up to do their part to save endangered species on this planet. Let's all run out to Exxon and fill up our tank with Exxon gasoline so they can help save the planet. Thank you, mainstream media and mainstream environmental organizations for cheering on Exxon Mobil saving the planet. Okay, from there, I love this one. This is a climate change article, also from TakePart.com. Is it time for San Francisco to declare defeat in its battle with the Pacific? In a future in which sea levels are expected to rise some three to four feet by the end of the century, San Francisco, well, it's just one city, is in a precarious position as the city is surrounded by water on three sides. And... Uh, it's for nearly a century, the city has taken all sorts of approaches to defending its wild border from the Pacific. Sea walls, man-made dunes, even gigantic piles of tombstones fashioned into crude revetments 
whatever they are. But two years ago this month, an ambitious interagency document presented a grand vision, the Ocean Beach Master Plan, which outlined an ambitious path backward. The city would no longer continue the Sisyphean task of holding the line and armoring itself against the rising tides. Instead, it would adopt managed retreat. The Great Highway would be moved far inland and narrowed from four lanes to two, allowing dunes to shift, reestablish, and provide natural protections. There you go. So, good for San Francisco abandoning uh, abandoning ship. Speaking of ships, several stories today and I'm glad to see it from the oil war between China and Vietnam in the South China Sea. I'm glad to see the mainstream media uh, doing a, a pretty good job of covering the the escalating oil war. Today's headline from AP on high seas, Vietnam and China play tense game. Each day, the Vietnamese ships tried to get close to the rig, and each day they were driven back by the much larger Chinese ships. Uh, you know, this is, I've been uh, re reporting on this every day. Vietnam, 10 times smaller than its northern neighbor and dependent on it economically needs all the help it can get in the oil war. Of course, they're not calling it an oil war in the mainstream media. They're calling it a maritime dispute. So they're trying to get uh, the world on their side. So, of course, uh, the only thing Vietnam wants is to be out there drilling for that oil. China has now set up a six-mile exclusion zone around the uh, the rig. Good Lord, look at it. Anyway, anyone who wants to follow that one. Okay, from the South China Sea to Aleppo, Syria. UN chief condemns water cut in Syria's Aleppo. I have uh, often said to the, these goddamn conspiracy wackos about the New World Order's depopulation agenda that if they want to depopulate 90% of this planet, well, they cut off the grid and they cut off our public water supplies. They simply cut off the taps and watch us all die. And what do we see from Syria? The United Nations chief has condemned a cut in water supplies in the northern Syrian city of Aleppo that has deprived at least two and a half million people of access to their drinking water. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon said that preventing people access to safe water denies them a fundamental right. He noted that denying civilians essential supplies is a breach of international and humanitarian law. There you go, as them rebels laying siege to Aleppo. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant to uh, tie the, this article in with the, uh, the oil war 
article. This uh, There's several articles on the oil war in the South China Sea. Okay, asking the question, where will it end? Although open warfare between China and Vietnam is considered unlikely, neither side shows signs of backing down in the rig standoff. Vietnam is proving true to its legacy of stiff resistance to what it sees as Chinese bullying while one of China's top generals said Thursday that Beijing would not give up one inch of what it considers to be its sovereign territory. There you go. And so in the 10 minutes I have left, I'm just going to go down the column of news, but they want to throw me to the bottom and I want to go to the top. What is the number one story on the planet? Turkish search ends as last missing miners found. There you go. And uh, what this is a picture of is not the mine disaster itself, but these people uh, protesting the mine disaster being beaten by riot police. Okay. How about this one for connecting dots. This is the number one dot, the number one article in the column of news from Sub-Saharan Africa. Suspected Boko Haram rebels attack Chinese worksite in Cameroon. There you go, guys. Let's see what you stir up now. We have these rebels uh, coming over from Nigeria into Cameroon, and, and they're and, and they're whooping up on the wrong people. So we will see what our friends in China have to say about this one. Um, good for them being the number one. Uh, we, we will see where this one goes, guys. I'm sure I will be reporting on this one and in future days see how china is just going to sit back and let boko haram uh, start attacking their little planet eating colonial enterprises in sub-saharan africa oh yeah all right from sub-saharan africa i guess uh to anywhere in the planet climate change will hit nations' credit worthiness. Global warming will pressure sovereign credit ratings throughout this century with poorer, lower-rated countries hardest hit, says Standard and Poor's Ratings Service. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, I think we already talked about this. Floods sweep Serbia and Bosnia. Boats sailed through the streets of Serbia on Friday on a mission to rescue people trapped by rising waters as the worst floods in over 120 years sweep across Bosnia. Okay, good old China and Russia. What is going on between those two guys? China and Russia on verge of gas deal. China plans to sign a multi-billion dollar deal to buy Russian gas. There you go. China and Russia teaming up to frack a planet. There you go. Several articles on this nightmarish looking deep sea fish washes up on North Carolina beach.
one of the top 100 stories. Okay, several stories on the MERS virus. Oh boy, here we go for the second day in a row. A Bangladesh sinking ferry. All right, here is Pfizer making fake pot. A designer drug tied to deaths of thousands partially initiated in the labs of one of the world's biggest pharmaceutical companies. That is Pfizer making that special K. From big pharma to big spying, NSA can collect it all, but then what? There you go. Let's see, we're just going on, I could stop, any do I got four more minutes, good lord, uh, here are Americans head to Mexico for weight loss balloon pill, I guess there's a pill to pop that balloon in their fat, asses. One more miracle pill to lose weight. Okay, I've mentioned this one earlier. This is the newest story on the bumblebee bummer. As our native bee is now facing extinction. There you go. Facing extinction. The bumblebee. A bunch of stories uh, on the, I guess that was an arsonist over there, and uh, they're now claiming, I remember Alex was, Alex Jones was ranting a few nights ago how the mainstream media is not saying anything about the arsonist in Southern California, and now there are a bunch of articles in the mainstream media about arsonist in Southern California. Okay, here is doctors reattach teen's arm severed in pasta machine. Jesus Christ. Here is how you can see those smoke f plumes from San Diego from space. Good Lord. Anyway, I got two minutes. Good guys, I could. Uh, is there any? I just need. Here is silent virus, a rare, dangerous risk for the unborn. You'll be seeing many more virus stories coming up soon. All right, I need to wrap this up. Uh, I think uh, I think we get the idea. Okay, we'll just leave it at this. Uh, as long as we're talking about what is being seen from satellites today, uh, you can go from smoke plumes coming out of these. San Diego fires to this one. New North Korean warships seen in satellite images. Recent satellite images show two new North Korean frigates, the largest surface combat ships the nation's navy has constructed in a quarter century. All right, guys, and I think we will just wrap it up there. But I got some gas-sucking rototilling to do today and think about what I'm going to do for my Saturday rant. But for this, peek into the end times on this gorgeous Saturday morning, May 17th, 2014, 
Bye, guys.